Hey guys, today I'm just going to show you how I can seal my under eye bags and circles. As you can see, I have pretty bad um, under eye bags and circles in some of my videos. If you follow me, you know this is my biggest beauty problem, basically. But I've been kind of learning a lot about like color correcting and basically just diminishing the look of bags and circles. Uh, there's no way that I can get rid of my bags because it's genetic. Same thing with my dark circles. It's not because I'm tired. It's not because of my diet. It's just the way my skin is and basically just genetics. This is like I have fat pads under this area here. It's not like fluid. It's just literally fat pads. They can be removed surgically, but there are some risks and obviously it's very expensive. So I'm not going to go for that. I'm just going to keep on learning and see if we can diminish the circles and bags because it can make you look very tired and just like not healthy. Um, that's my biggest problem. This is the finished look. As you can see, the circles and bags have minimized dramatically. It's As you guys can see, my, my bags and my circles are really bad. And my skin's already prepped by a little bit of under eye cream and some moisturizer. Then I'm taking this NYX orange concealer and this is full coverage concealer. And I'm going to color correct make sure that that darkness is not seeping through i know right now it's not looking appealing but i promise you guys it's going to look very good once everything's done next i'm just taking this little concealer brush and making sure that it all blends in into my skin one there then i'm taking a really light color concealer cream concealer preferably and I'm drawing a line, trying to hide that shade. As you, if you guys can see, like when I look down, there is that area under my eye that creates a shadow. So what I'm trying to do is take out that shadow, conceal the shadow. Then I'm just using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And this is what's going to cover everything and blend everything out. I'm not bringing my concealer all the way up to my lower lash line, but I will move it up with my beauty sponge. This is a beauty sponge that I got from Amazon and I've been alone with this. It's actually very comparable to Beauty Blender and honestly, I don't reach for my Beauty Blender as much anymore once I have it. It's uh, $6.99 or $7.99. You can already see that my circles are basically disappearing. My bags are still seeping through, but usually what I do is put in a little bit more of that tar shape tape right where that bag starts to farther conceal it and create the illusion of uh, even skin. I'm using patting motions instead of swiping motions because you always want to pat the product into your skin rather than move it around. I'm using RCMA powder. This is one of my favorite setting powders. And this is a really affordable powder. There's a lot of it. And I'm just going ahead and setting everything, making sure it doesn't bodge throughout a day. Just using a regular fluffy brush for that. All right, as you guys can see, it's already looking so much better. Um, then I'm just taking a setting spray spraying a little bit of my beauty sponge and just dabbing it all in. So this is the final result. Obviously my bags are not completely going to go away, but, but their appearance has dramatically diminished. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this is helpful for you. If you like it, if you want more of like my tutorials, please give me a thumbs up. And obviously if you're not my subscriber, please subscribe to my channel. And for those of you that are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate your comments. I read every single comment and I'll try to respond to as many comments as I can because I truly do appreciate you guys and I do want to connect. All right, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.